Good morning, everybody, from the great state of Texas. Yeah. Nice day here so far. It's going to be a hot one again, but we have nothing, nothing on the menu as far as forecast goes, but days that are in the 100s. Man, oh man, oh man. And uh, today, I actually was able to kind of stay in the house this morning and chill and relax and didn't get up super early. I kind of laid in bed longer. I woke up, but I refused to get up and because I didn't have to. And uh, Mel, she stayed in bed even longer than I did. I've got something kind of exciting that I'm wanting to do today. And let me show you and tell you about it. Move little baby James right here. Yep, y'all, some of you gonna notice what this is before I even say anything. But uh, I bought a bee suit. Yep, I bought a bee suit. And there's the gloves for it. Because, first of all, y'all know that I had bought a hive before and I was trying to set it up, but being back and forth to the Philippines, uh, it's bad timing. I was not here in the spring, which is the best time to get a new hive started. Um, and the winter, you mess with them, move them, you could cause them to starve to death. You take them from their food source. Hot summer is a horrible time to move them, but it's still a possible time to move them. So I have this shed out here, and apparently bees swarmed from somewhere, and they found an opening to go into the wall of that shed. Now this opening, we had a tornado here years past that flung debris and destroyed buildings, my barn, and all kinds of damage, trees, it was, it was a lot of damage, and did damage to the house even right here above where I'm standing, ripped off part of the structure where I was building and all. And so, uh, apparently when this debris flung, something struck that wall and split open the tin there a little bit, right by the door. And these bees found that as a perfect place to go in and build inside the wall of that shed. Well, I got stuff in that shed that I need to get out of there. And I haven't wanted to harm those bees. Um, because I like them. And I would actually like to capture them and get them over into a hive. And uh, I contacted out a friend that does the bees and he said that it's just so hot for him right now. He hasn't been feeling good and all. And that it would just be torture on him to have to put on a bee suit and deal with trying to move the bees. And he said, man, James, you know, you're kind of wanting to piddle with that stuff anyway. Just buy a bee suit. And I said, you know what, you're right. And so I got online and I bought a bee suit and it only took it one day to arrive. Boy, things change. And um, I'm not going to try to move them right now. I might, but not today. But I do have some things I need to get in that building and get out. And um, so I need to get inside that building. Now, during the winter time, I went in that building because those bees all we're not moving with the cool air, but I'm not going to be here this winter. And uh, I need to get this stuff out right now. I've got some things in there that I'm wanting to ship over to the Philippines. And we got boxes ready to ship that we would like to send off tomorrow. So here we go. I'm going to put on a bee suit. And I'm going to try to get through the bee swarm because they are literally maybe six inches away from that door opening. And it's an old metal door, an old metal barn like building. And when I open that door, it always makes like a pop sound and it shakes the wall. You know, it's an old building. And uh, that's probably going to piss them off and stir them up. So uh, wish me luck. I've never done this before. Wish me luck. Uh, and let's see how this goes. <laughs> put this on one time because I wanted to see how it all worked. I do have a couple things I'm still trying to figure out here on it. Let's see, here's a little part up in here. I think it's supposed to Velcro in, but I didn't see a Velcro strip. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm crawling up my pants. 
up there. Um, I don't know if I should be a nerd or scared and put some tape around my. Well, actually, the scene that they see in the YouTube, okay. they not really go down. You They're know? gonna be all up and around. Yeah, around. All right, there was some gloves here. <laughs> uh, brand new experience. And do you put the gloves? You put this over the gloves? Pretty stick, you know. I like it. Yeah, it's a it's like a cotton. I mean, do you put the gloves over or under? It didn't count. I guess I should go to Google and read. <laughs> Get online, see um, if you need to put the glove over. I think most of it's under. Just no, no, that would be hard to do. Here, pull that back down. Pull this over. You need to do it in the upper. Well, you want where you can see them to make sure they're all off of you and not crawl in a little crap. Well, that's not bad right there. Yeah, help me with the other one. Huh? Thing's gonna be, uh, it's all twisted. You got me twisted. It's hot in here already. You're gonna go to what, what planet? You're gonna go to Mars? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm gonna go to Uranus. <laughs> wow, you know, there's a NASA here. That's your note. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll go to the, B, the planet of the bee people. Well, right there, I know it can easily slide open right there. This looks like a weak point to me. It should have had a little piece of velcro over it. I think you just get nervous. So, no, they, they get a little hole right there and they're going to be right where they're swarming around you. They'll crawl in. I am a little nervous. I'm not going to deny I am. There they are, right up there. I don't have any smoke to try to smoke them. They have been real gentle with me. And, but I'm afraid the shaking of that door is what might set them off. Um, in the beginning when they first showed up here, they used to attack me from way off at a far distance. And then all of a sudden, they quit attacking me. And uh, they start letting me get up all closer and closer to them. I've been stung by them several times in the beginning when they first showed up. They used to run me away. I am not an experienced bee person by any means at all. And they are flying, checking me out. And I'm just going to be uh, not aggressive with them. Now, I'll tell you, they, um, if you swat at them and things and you make an aggressive move, you're asking for it then. They are smart little creatures. Now, I've noticed a change here. They're going in by the door right there and they weren't before, so they could actually start be building a hive on the inside now. And that's not good. They were only up here in the wall before. Well, I'm going to make a move here. This could be the bad move. Right, the door was pretty quiet. The move was soft. This is one pretty smooth so far. They have been building a little bit of cone up here on the door. Kind of hit at the suit just now. 
but they're still not real aggressive. They are, they are worked up a little bit, but they're not being aggressive though. And at this point, I'm going to go on inside this thing. Oh, I see they're working even down here at the bottom of the door. I didn't notice that. Their hive is kind of spilling on out to the inside. So I store stuff for rent houses and a few other things inside this old, old building. This building's probably built back in the 1940s or on this old dairy farm. Used to be a lot of barns and buildings here. All right, we're gonna step on in. And I'm in here and they never bothered me. I blew foam to seal those gaps so that they wouldn't come on in here inside this building on a mass scale kind of keep them concentrated in that wall because i did not want to harm these bees i just want to relocate them so like i say i got a lot of stuff in here for rent houses uh blinds sinks air filters air handler there's my paint rig um ground rods all different kinds of things uh my bills for cleaning out the septic lines the sewer lines garbage disposal just a lot of stuff a lot of stuff ah here's something i was looking for right there i want to ship that that big roll of coax i cannot get a good high grade coax um unless i may be really searching it's expensive and that that is the good quality rg6 so there is a win already coming in here i need to carry that out with me but i'm still not seeing what i'm looking for unless it's underneath right here but i do see this and i want to go ahead and try to carry this out and um i hope that i can do it gently and not upset these these bees This is pretty cool that they're not being aggressive. Um, I've got more of these down in another building. These are my hydraulic jacks. Uh, like this is a pneumatic, it's an air over hydraulic uh, for leveling on houses that I buy and they need to be leveled. These nice big, big, big jacks. I've got more of them. Uh, you know, this is where I just keep a lot of stuff for rentals stuff uh, patching and shower fixtures and just lots of things this is <laughs> snake skin part of one now that's probably going to be a chicken snake what they call a rat snake and uh, I'll leave them alone because they do get rid of the rats and stuff and then I don't have rats in here tearing my things up Hydraulic pump. Some of this from my old family. Parts of old wagon wheels. I've got a whole bunch of stuff from the old wagon days and all. All right up here. There's the old axle ends and stuff from the old family wagons. There's another. I got complete wagon wheels over here on the other side. But those are all from my family uh i mean just think about that it just wasn't that long ago that we didn't even have all the roads. we didn't even have cars this is from right here at this place with my family just a few generations ago um i'm very impressed how gentle these bees have been they never even got on me never even landed on me and Right now, they're just kind of checking out this phone that I'm holding up, seeing if it's a threat or not. Yeah. Well, that's pretty cool. I like it. 